Hey everyone. So I left late tonight and I only got to make it to one place, one store, because I probably couldn't make it to the store I need to go to to get the ice and stuff, but I'm just gonna go across the street to um, Chevron and get me the big 10 pound and a bag of ice. Cause I, I, I need my, my drinks ice cold at night. And so across the street from Chevron, they have a Tommy. And look what I got. Ah. Mm. It's so good. But I don't want to be TMI, but <laughs> I forgot my lactate tablet. So <laughs> it doesn't cause any problems. But this is so good. I didn't even know they had these. They have the same kind of ice cream as, um, what's that place called? McDonald's, but they give you a whole bunch of ice cream right here. Like it was all the way up here. And I was like so in the mood for, well, I was kind of in the mood for ice cream, but when I got here, some guy had like two of them because he had one for like his daughter or granddaughter or whatever. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna get one of those. So yeah. And I was so happy I went to Aldi because like by the time that Liz came, to the house it was already like nine no eight fifty and so I was like oh great but I know Aldi kind of like stragglers in sometimes at the end so I was like oh I'm good I got there was in and out like in five minutes so yeah anyway guys it's a nice night right now it's nice and cool I'm just chilling and um so, I hope everyone had a good night. I didn't know what to make tonight, so I just ended up getting um, a chili dog from here. Because I don't know. I was going to go, the other store I was going to go to to get the ice has, um, they have those tortilla, you know the kind that you don't, that aren't, um, cooked yet, and then you have to heat them up in the skillet. The best kind to get. They had, they had, I was going to get that and just make a quesadilla or whatever, but since I'm not going to make it over there, I'm just going to, um, I'm gonna, what am I gonna do? I'm just gonna eat the chili dog and then, I mean, last night I made the, okay, oh, that's another thing. I made the chicken strips that I was gonna make, the, from like, that I got the meat from grocery outlet the other day. So I'm making them, right? And I have the air fryer, but, um, I couldn't find my chicken batter, my hot spicy chicken batter. So I had to get, so I had to use, um, <laughs> I had to use fish batter because, like, um, and I remember my friend Lorna one time, she was like, it doesn't matter. Because, okay, we went to this the Taste of Soul, and we got samples of this company's fish batter. You could either choose chicken or fish. She got the fish, I got the chicken. But at the time, I was making more fish, like catfish, all that. So, I was like, oh, let's switch. And then she's like, well, does it matter? Because you could just, like, use either one. But you know how there's a difference? Because usually the spices they use for fish batter are um a little different than what they use like they use cornmeal and stuff in it but this is like really finely ground down cornmeal so it's a little different chicken they use a few other different seasonings because different seasonings go with chicken but in the most for the most part they use the same type of seasoning and my mom she grabbed no she was almost out of this fish seasoning she uses one time so she used she mixed and some chicken seed no fish seasoning chicken seasoning into the fish seasoning that she had and it was actually good but like they were good and I had to kind of jazz it up a little a few more spices but it was good but a little too spicy and um I thought I did everything right like I dunked it in the egg bath and then I put it um in the powder and kind of absorbed it in there and then I put it in the air fryer but I couldn't find my cooking spray so I didn't like use it was a mess I used olive oil in the air fryer to kind of make it where it won't stick but it was sticky so I ended up just making the rest in the oven and that was a, actually a better process in terms of cook time because and it didn't dry them out as much as the air fryer I think I put them on too high in the air no too long in the air fryer in the oven I just put them on three something like 395 and then I put it for seven minutes they said seven minutes each each uh side and then you just flip it and then do the other side and oh my ice cream is melting and um you can't, be, you can't eat ice cream in public you know because 
you get all kinds of side eye and staring so <laughs> that's why I didn't want to keep doing it while I was like I was trying to like eat it all in speak like you know because it was disgusting and I wanted me to go but let me finish this first um so yeah you guys um it was a mess but it ended up working good in the oven and um so yeah and then I have another update. Okay, so everyone knows about my little hair issue going on. So I've decided I'm going to probably get, like, a wig or two. Not only because of this, because obviously it's summer right now, so it doesn't matter as much. Like, you have your hair out, it doesn't matter. It's so hot anyway. But I'm probably going to, because I have, um, you know how wigs, they last so, they only last so long, unless you really keep them up really good. And I have the synthetic hair, because I'm like, I told my sister-in-law once, I'm like, I'm so scared to get like um the human hair ones because it, it like trips me out but like and plus there are more but like she makes wigs but anyway she was telling me i was telling her yeah it trips me out to get real human hair wigs but i'm just gonna go to the beauty supply and get um i'll probably wear them like in the fall i don't know about now because it's too hot or if i have to go somewhere like but um also, because I'm a lady of age to an extent, I don't like the whole long hair ones going down my back or anything. So I would have to like trim it up to here or whatever. But yeah, I used to wear wigs like for a couple of years, like a year or two. Um, and it's just till I get my hair situation figured out. Because I feel like my hair, like I washed it today and I feel like it's gone short or something. And I don't know if that's a side effect of the situation I'm having or what. Um... But yeah, I don't know. And I also haven't relaxed it in a month or two. So it could be that I don't know how much new growth there is. Like, obviously, like, you know, with how with black hair, it's a little different. It gets kind of, they call it nappy is the slang term. But it gets all, you know, coiled looking at the scalp. That's like the new growth, you know. And um, so I don't know how much it's grown. And today I put something, I put Cantu curl cream in it. So that's why it looks all fluffed out and like a little longer. But even if it didn't, I just want to like... I don't know. I want to change some stuff up again. And I, I liked wearing the wigs because I liked, like, just having different... Because I had different ones for different things. Like, I had, like, the one with the red streak in it. I had, um, just, like, a light brown wig. I had, like, different ones. So, yeah. This is, like, straight up milk now. But, anyway, you guys. So, yeah. I just hated wearing them when they were, it was hot, because they, if you sweat, especially with the, um, the synthetic hair, the, the hair that they use for synthetic wigs, synthetic hair wigs, is, like, the same as, like, you know how we have with our Barbies and all that? It's that kind of hair. It's, like, doll hair. So, it can't, they wash really easily, and you can get them back into a certain look and everything. Um, like, they get, so like, silky again and soft again. And I liked how e easily, like, they wash and dry out. You just dry them out overnight. But if they get too much sweat and stuff on them, they get frizzed up. Like, like messes up, you know. After so much time, it kind of messes them up. And you end up getting another one. But I miss wearing them. So, yeah, I'm probably going to... I don't know, and they have they have them online too, so I don't necessarily have to go to a resupply. But the thing with the online is I don't know if they have the websites are now, but when I was gonna order one online years ago, like I didn't know how it was gonna look on me. So I don't know if they have a thing where you upload a picture and then it, you just kinda see what it you know does or what. But it's fun, it's nice wearing them, you just kinda to change up your style and everything. But it was funny. I this is kinda like TMI, but I remember once I needed I had this guy friend at the time and I was like <laughs> so I had it on, right? I should have whispered this. I had it on. And so <laughs> so like um it was funny because you know how you're laying there and you're like laying in bed or whatever. And you have it on and I'm trying to keep it on like because I didn't want to go off because underneath you have like a wig cap that keeps it like smooth under there. Because if I put the wig on over this, for example, my real hair might, like, pop out on the sides, or you have to keep them, like, sometimes you have to keep it pinned in, like, pinned under there, like, um, 
like a bobby pin to keep the wig like there and you know keep it in place so it's not like you know they some of them have and some of them have better wig caps than other like wig um i don't know if it's a wig cap or what it's called but there's a thing sewn into the wig that you put over your um your scrap your, eh, your scalp or whatever and um so it's funny because i'm laying there right and he's like, you should just take it off. He's like, I'm going to see it anyway. And I was like, <laughs> and you know what's funny about that is it's like, women, it, this is just something I always, that always cracked me up. Okay, women are like, well, no, I don't want, I don't want him to see me without my wig on or whatever. Like, if it was someone that you were with or, you know, you already had a kind of established thing. I mean, okay, because they already seen you anyway, unless they haven't, you know, they haven't seen you yet. But most people... Especially when they, if they're dealing with black women and stuff, they kind of know that there's either weave or, um, unless they have their natural hair out. Like my hair's in, out right now, right? So if I met someone right now, he's gonna see my hair as it is now. But like, if he, if like in a month or two, all of a sudden he just, he saw me with like long old hair, he's gonna know, you know, any kind of common sense, he's gonna know that it's either wig or weave. So. It's not, not really a secret, but some people are kind of like, oh, I like you, like, with your hair like this, or down, or up, or whatever. So, like, it was just funny, because a lot of women would be like, oh, he hasn't seen me without my my hair on, or whatever. But I'm just like, I don't know. I'm just like, they are going to, he was right, they are going to see you with it, without it anyway, but, you know, it's just... To me, I look at I know people have different opinions on it, but I look at it like wearing eyelashes or wearing a lot of makeup or whatever. You're you're basically just enhancing. And like I said, anyone with sense knows how our hair texture is, so they know it's most likely not our real hair anyway. So it shouldn't be like a big deal because they just know that okay, we're just kind of. Unless you're going to different, like, oh, this is my hair, and this and that, but, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to finish this, you guys, and then I'm going to go get my eyes, and then I'm going to head on home. Alright, you guys, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good night. Bye. Oh, and happy pre-first of the month. <laughs> okay, bye.